Hi guys, how are we all? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is probably my, one of my most requested. I think since I ever first spoke about the Dyson and since I've got the Dyson. I'm trying to not get the mess of the room in. So, I thought I would just do a video. The reason why it has taken me a little bit longer is because it's taken me a little while to get used to it. It's not as easy as what I first thought it would be. Um, but I'm going to just get basically straight into it. I don't want to talk too much, as I always do. But I just kind of want to get into it. So I'm in my house coat. I'm obviously just out of shower. Um, I put some moisturiser on, some gloss. Um, and yeah, we'll just get started. So I'm going to try and talk through some of it. And then I'll speed it up. And then, um, yeah, I'll give you my honest review. It has taken me a few tries to get used to it. Um, I did film this the other day and I had to scrap it because I pinned my hair. And I pinned it wrong. And it was a disaster. But anyway, so this is the box here. It's massive, it's heavy. I have the full kit. So the full kit comes with two brushes. Um, I don't know what the difference is in them, but they come with them. Um, they come with your big barrel and your small barrel, which I'm going to talk you through in a minute. Um, and it comes with your drying brush. It comes with the drying part, the hair dryer part, and then obviously the tool. Um, so it comes with a lot. Um, I got mine on the Dyson website. You can get it on QVC. Pardon me, but they wouldn't let me do it for some weird reason. They said it wasn't in the boat result when I am. Um, but I can't board I was just like, I'll just get it. Um, and you can pay it up. So that's good as well. You can also pay it up on the Dyson website. So I have all the settings up high. So here, like the full up, all up high. Um, and I'm basically going to just blast my hair. Um, my hair absorbs water, like anyone that ever does my blow dries are like, your fucking hair is like a sponge. Um, I've already put all my products in it, so I won't talk you through that. If you want to know what products I have used, then jump over to my most recent hair care video. Um, and you can kind of see the products I use for when I've wa just washed my hair. Um, because I don't want to bore anyone who like, what kind of watches all my videos, you know what I mean? Um... So yeah, let's just get started. I have to dry most of my hair because it literally um, it absorbs the water so I'd be here all day if I didn't. Um, however, if you don't have super thick hair or your hair dries pretty quickly, then dry your hair for like a little minute, get the moisture out a little bit, but then just go straight in with your curling tool. But let's get started. So even a little this is my personal opinion. I don't feel like it's hot. Like, see when it's on, I don't really feel like it's hot on my head. However, it does dry my hair quicker. So it's really strange. Um, so the first time I was dying my hair, I thought maybe I'd put the cold setting on. Um, but yeah, I think that's obviously why it's better for your hair compared to like a normal hair dryer, I would say. Um, so yeah, I think I go run about my hair, just kind of blast it. Um, and try and get some of the moisture. So, at this stage, uh, because I have, um, if you see me looking that way, guys, my mirror's right behind, so I'm just trying to. Um, so I recently got bangs and then I got them cut even um, shorter. So because I kind of want them to be big and bouncy, I am going to go straight in and style my bangs so that I don't dry them and then I need to style them when they're dry. Um, so if you have bangs or you're thinking about getting them, I use a big like a Velcro roller and two clips. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the drying part and go in with the big roll brush. I just go under first and get like volume at the root and just dry it up the way. However, this always feels a wee bit hotter, so if you have like heat protection gloves, definitely use them. And then now I go back.
So I just roll it down and hold with the heat on. Well, you don't burn your scalp with this bit. And then I'm going to cool it by pushing the heat button up to the cold setting. And that just kind of sets it. And it should kind of look like this. <laughs> So then I just take the roller quite tight, make sure all the hairs on the roller just roll under. And then I get two clips and just pin them down. Like so. So then I just pop this off and go back to kind of blasting the rest of the dampness off my hair. Okay, so I feel like a good bit of my hair is now dry. So I'm just going to go over and brush so it's soft. And then this is where we're going to curl and style. Oh, so tucky. The hair. Let's get started. Try to find my big clip. I kind of, my first section, just take it from like the top of my ear down. Um, again, it depends how much hair you have, but I find smaller sections seem to work better for me. Um, not too small, but definitely small enough. Um, and I just go back over and brush the hair. My hair seems to get really quite. Recently guys, also by the way, since I've been taking so much better care of my hair, my hair has become really quite wavy and curly and I was like mum the other day I was like my god I've got pure wavy curly hair and she's like do you not know that? She's like you've always had that but obviously because I don't really, I've never really left my hair dry in years um I've not noticed but like even like now it's starting to really cur go curly at the root also guys my nipples really infected at the moment as I don't even talk it's quite disgusting but um it's really itchy Anyway, so talking about barrels, guys, this big barrel is the one that I thought would be the winner. So I'm just going to show you in comparison of thickness. Can you see? Um, however, when I used this, it was nice. I brushed it out and it kind of just disappeared. I didn't really love it. So I thought, wait, fuck it, I'll try this one. And what a difference. Like, I really, really recommend just using the thinner barrel. So that's what I'm going to use. So you get to going in one direction and going in the other. Sometimes I mix it up, so bear with me. I'm trying, I'll try and figure out what one goes where. Um, but basically, just separate your hair. And then I would just take the section. Right? But before I do that, this is what I do. For smoothness, because I feel like I've got a bit of wave to my hair than now, I just take the big brush anyone really right pop this on and can I dry the root so that that bit smooth because recently that's when obviously I've been getting the the kink in my hair Not everyone will need to do that, but I feel like personally I do because of the kink in my hair at the moment. So, now I've done that, section my hair, 
like so. And I'm going to see if this is the right side, so bear with. Okay. So, all we want to do, get the thing, hold it, and you can see how that's catching the hair. I hold it a little bit on the bottom, so that that's where most of the curl is. Now if I was to stop that, that is just like a wee kink at the bottom. So if you prefer that, you could easily just dry all your hair and go around and kink the edges, right? But let's go under. Let's let it wrap. And then just take it up. Like so. So hold it for a little while. It shouldn't be too hot to touch, I don't think so anyway, but I think I've got a wee bit of a stress this hand. So I stop it, take it down, okay, can you see? Now what I do is, I take a brush to it, right, because I feel like it just helps it, and I go back in again. Hold on. And just hold it. And then, I'm now using the cold air to set this. Which I do think helps, definitely do it. Take it down. And voila. So usually I do just the same side, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you the other side and then I'm going to do like a wee time lapse um, because it's repetitive and then when I get to the top we can come back and chat. So I'll show you now the other side. So I've changed my barrel. And watch how that goes a different direction so it catch under. Right? Let it catch. I always kind of let the bottom bit dry a wee bit. And then let it. Go up. And then take it down. Now, the reason why I brush it is because some bits I feel go dry, some bits don't. Just by however you've wrapped it. So then I just brush it so it's soft and I'll let it all catch again. And then just let it go up. And then there you have it. You see? I usually just do each section. I've seen some people do like a full half side of their head, but I just prefer doing a section each. So now I'm going to go do the rest and then when I get to the top I'll do it together with you. We can chat through the curls, how they've dropped and we can see what my fringe looks like with the bangs. So let's go. Cue the time lapse. Because I had the bedroom door shut and all, and then the hairspray, my gaff probably thought I was trying to like blow the gaff up. Um, anyway, so I've now done all my hair, apart from the top, so I'm going to do that now. So I just thought I would show you. guys right so i'm in the midst of editing i've got tan on i've not washed off because you think it's scary mary i've had to cut a chunk out because my boob was fully out my house coat like my nipple my full boob and i didn't realize so i've had to cut that out that was me doing one side um so in case maybe i mention things or it doesn't align with what i say that's why i've had to cut it out um i tried to block it my boob but it just wasn't working so i had to cut it out um so yeah, that's why I've kind of jumped on from the other side. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would explain myself. Oh, my boobs nearly out. Um. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my bang in at the moment and then I'm going to go do my makeup and I will come back and take my bangs out on camera but I just kind of like to leave them in until I'm kind of ready to go out just because see when I'm doing my makeup and all I end up just getting uncovered in foundation anyway. Um, look a wee bit full, a wee bit crazy but to be honest guys you kind of want that and then that way you know it's definitely going to it's definitely going to last um, and I just go over any bits that maybe I feel need to be a bit extra curlier or or whatever right so I think that's kind of it all, I've ran it and I got to be glue Hairspray, which is like my saviour, but let's choose this one. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I'm going to let now go do my makeup and then I will come back on once this has had a wee bit of time to set. I'm not going to brush it out while it's hot because I feel like the curls come out quicker. Um, so I'm just going to leave that as it is at the moment. And then I will come back on camera once my makeup's done. We'll just brush out my hair and we will brush out my bags. So let's do a wee cute like transition. So one, two, three. How cool is that? Right, so hair is ready to get brushed out. So all I do is I'm gonna pop you back there two seconds. So just can you see? Just to show you the difference once you brush it out. So it's still really full at the moment, but obviously that will drop over time anyway. Um, but to be fair, I don't actually mind it being this full. And then time for the bangs. Always kind of wobble them a bit, a wee bit, guys, and then you know, these will be way too curly right now, but they literally drop so quick. So, to be honest, you kind of want your bangs to be quite curly at the start um, because, well, I find anyway they're the first things that kind of tend to drop quite a bit but just to show you what it looks like personally I love it I know it is quite glam um, obviously today is like a weekday so I'm not actually going anywhere but I still think it's really nice, it will drop, it's even nice if you want to put in half up, half down. Um, obviously my bangs right now are a wee bit bouncy for me but they'll... They'll drop anyway. But yeah, this is the beloved Dyson. So I hope you've enjoyed it, um, please let me know what you think. Um, I will pop the link I mentioned, the, the other one I was talking about, the cheaper version, it's kind of just good for blow drying and flicking under. I'll link that below as well. Um, I'll put up the Dyson, I'll see if I can find anywhere with a discount code for the Dyson. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you for the next video which will be Sunday.